Oh, there she goes. She does know how to do that. <laughs> okay, this is crazy. So the idea of this device is that, uh, actually, you can you can be down here too with me if you want. Right, yeah, <laughs> Explain a little bit. Of what we so got let's see. What, what's your name here? This is uh, this is Philip Meyer from Clever Pet. Tell us about what we just saw here. So this is the world's first game console for dogs. Uh, Fiona was here playing one of the puzzles that we provide for dogs. It's a engagement games. So when she completes the task, in this case, pushing the light that was on, she was able to get a little bit of food for the day. So you have a pattern of lights, I see three spots, which she was touching it with her nose? She was touching it with her nose. So some dogs, it kind of varies from dog to dog. Most dogs will sort of discover with their noses, so they'll get, they'll explore around, and they're most likely to sort of realize that there's a button because they'll sniff it, and oh. then when they sniff it, they touch it. It's a contact sensor, oh, okay. and then they'll be able to use it. But after a little while, a lot of them will realize that they can use their paws too, so they'll step on it. So when they, uh, so we just saw her do one or two lights. What You, you talked earlier to us about uh, the gamification of this. So it starts out really easy in the beginning because they actually have to, we have to teach dogs that it is a puzzle to solve. And at first, any button will really work. The lights all come on, and if they touch any of the buttons, they'll be able to get a treat. But then we'll make it gradually harder and harder. So maybe only two of the buttons will come on. Did she come home to an angry, frustrated dog who can't solve the puzzle then? Mm. It's always adapting to the dog's level. So if it's too hard, we'll back it off to become really easy. So the dog's always able to so be able give to give them hope. They'll always be able to get some food. It's just if they don't understand the game, they might have to work more, press the button. Sometimes they'll get it wrong, they'll have to wait a little longer. And eventually they'll get their food. But we find the right level so that throughout the day they'll get all the food that they need to eat for the day. So, oh, this is a treat. This is, this is how they get fed. This is the normal dry dog food kibble that we put in there. Occasionally you'll mix in a treat or two just to keep them excited about it, but we, it's what you'd normally want to give your dog. Oh, that, is, that sounds really, really interesting. So this is called Clever Pet. What's the website? GetCleverPet.com. And how much is this retailing for? It's $2.99 uh, is our retail price. There's a $30 off right now before January 10th. We're doing a pre-order campaign, so you can get yours now. That sounds really cool. So you, you load it up from the back here? Yeah, so this is how uh, in the morning what you do is you, you'd open this up over here. Can we turn it around here? Yeah, sure. yeah that's how he's just showing us how it works. Yeah. Okay. So you'd, you'd, you'd fill this up over here. You'd put in the food that you'd normally want your dog to be eating throughout the day. Then it'll start up and it'll start playing games for your dog. On our app you can actually adjust it so that it can happen when you want it to happen. And then you can actually, I can show you too. Uh, <laughs> I'm making him sit on the floor so it's hard to get to yeah. things here. Um, but you might want to know like, you know, what was, what was my dog doing today and, you know, like, how's, how's she doing on the, on the, on the task. So he's bringing up the uh, the app on his uh, on his Android phone here. Sure, yeah. That's right. So in this case, I'd be able to look and say, okay, 21 pieces of food were eaten today. Her score is 112, and she's on level eight, right? And Do so you I punish her when it's too low. No, I'm kidding. I'm just joking. I'm just <laughs> like, a weirdo. What? You're, you're a level eight dog. This is like no. Yeah, I can't believe. What are you sick? <laughs> um, so the levels will adjust. They'll go up and down based on on her performance. And then there's basic things that you could change. You could change, um, you know, to make sure that you adjust it and customize it for your dog. That is really, really interesting. All right. Thank you very much. This is really cool. All right. Thank you.